Hey YouTubers, today I thought I'd play a little Kirby game for you. You know, the real Kirby games. The ones where you actually get to eat things and not the mini games. Because some of you have been asking, what are what is a Kirby game like? And I've finally thought that I should show you as a Christmas sort of gift. Alright, so we are going to do that then. Let's do that. Bum bum bum. <sighs> it's nice and quiet in the house, so it'll be not distracting background noises and all that, so that'll be nice. Alright, so we'll play Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, because that's the only Kirby side scroller that I've decided to download for now, so there you go. Alright, and if you guys like this video, we'll do a playthrough, because I've, I've become more confident with um, talking into the microphone and syncing my voice, so we should do that if you guys are comfortable. So, write a lot of comments, and don't write more than one comment if you're the same person, because, you know, unless you want to tell me that I'm also awesome, or some other aspect of the video is also awesome, then go right ahead, because everyone likes to know that they're awesome. Okay, so, I'm going to do it the exact same thing that I did with Mario's video where I just recorded until I got to the actual game and I'm gonna start recording now starting recording we're gonna call it Kirby one one there sorry that I self narrate but it's sort of a unconscious thing. I'll try and be conscious of it then. There. Alright, we're gonna record... Right... Three, two, one, go. Doody doody do do. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. And this game actually has a story, so I'll let you guys see the story. The peaceful world of Dreamland's land is in great danger. The dream in Dreamland dreams always flowed from the fountain of dreams. The fountain of dreams collected the hopes and dreams of all living things. It was also responsible for the sweet dreams and rest that come from deep sleep. But one day, everyone in Dreamland lost the ability to dream. King Dedede was bathing in the Fountain of Dreams. He even had the Star Rod, the source of the fountain's power, and broken, in, broken it into pieces and he gave it to his underlings. Now Kirby must embark on an adventure to restore peaceful sleep to the residents of Dreamland. Nap times just sound childish. Alright. As you can see, I've already started a file, but let's start a new one for now. Just in case you guys want to see a playthrough. Alright, so Kirby can jump. Kirby can eat things by inhaling them. And the most cheap ass feature feature of his games fly. That's right. If you're feeling cheap and not wanting to take a hit from enemies, you can just fly theoretically across the whole level. But who wants to do that? It runs the fun. Besides, Kirby's main ability is getting powers so he can 
kick ass and everything. It's fun. Boom. Well, that's in his games from Kirby's Dreamland too. But before the first Kirby game on the original Game Boy, he wasn't able to get any powers. That's right. You'd only shoot things out of stars, so it made the platforming kind of harder. But then they toned it down. But you know what's still fun about the Kirby games? Bosses. Bosses are awesome. Especially when a big boss gives you a really cool power. It's awesome. Whoa! I thought I was gonna get killed there. Ah, there I got it. does suck though. <laughs> oh, look at that. I died. Oh, poor Kirby. But I have a challenge for people who like to hack ROMs and stuff. You should try and hack a Kirby ROM or a Kirby game and like redesign all the levels because everybody seems to hack Mario World too much now and I think Kirby games can be made ridiculously hard. Can you imagine this? One life, one hit point and then like a shitload of enemies to just fly through. Well, that would be impossible. Mm. Kirby's Flight of Doom. That's what the game would be called. Oh look, I get a one up. Yay! Yes. So that's what the Kirby games are like. You get certain powers and you can use them against your enemies and if you don't want a power just press select button and it goes away giving you the ability to get another power without taking damage first and then yeah up there next we'll explore the mini games which in the one player mode when you're playing adventure give you extra lives but that'll be in the next video because I think I'm gonna cut it now so bye